and in light of the Paris decision, does the president still believe climate change is a hoax? Uh, thank you, everybody. Bengaluru. The hub of the country's tech industry is already home to over 12 million people and is set to accommodate an additional 3.5% every year. With a growing population and increase in urban concrete density, the city's landmark pleasant weather tag is slowly taking a hit. The weather in the city used to be so much better than it is now. The average temperatures have increased by over 3 degrees in the last 20 years. Bengaluru is now in the city of Bengaluru. It is in the city of Bengaluru. Team Decipher's site for the Raya International School is located in North Bengaluru. Zoning is done by clubbing blocks into primary, secondary and higher secondary wings and orienting it in an L-shaped pattern. Blocks are scattered to reduce the heat island effect. This prevents the formation of hot air pockets in between concrete structures. Classrooms and labs are masked around a series of courtyards that act as open air learning spaces and induce a stack effect for natural cooling, reducing the dependency on mechanical energy systems. South oriented solar panels act as a source of renewable energy on site. To educate the incoming community and promote a net zero building culture, the open plaza is set up with a panel display that breaks down the various parameters of a green building. The building needs to be resistant to floods. Considering the flood level is 0.6 meters, the plinth of the buildings is raised to 0.9 meters. By retention swales are designed on the periphery of the site to capture storm water and centralize the management system. Bengaluru's surface temperature has seen a dramatic increase from 33 to 41 degrees Celsius. The city faces the threat of heat waves. Simulation of internal air temperature in a heat wave situation shows comfortable conditions in academic and admin buildings. The auditorium and sports complex are located near the entrances so that they can be easily accessed and used by the public during natural disasters. In non-disaster situations, these facilities can be occupied by the neighbouring local community, creating an additional revenue stream. The end product is a net zero building, enhancing the quality and status of the structure among similar educational buildings.